Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about one of the most single-handedly important thing in film besides recording with the camera. Um, I'm sure you can already guess what it is. We're going to go over audio. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys this mic that I'm using. Um, this isn't a fancy mic by any chance, so don't, don't think, oh, once I get this mic, I'm set. Uh, this is a perfect beginner mic, and this is a perfect shotgun mic. Um, what a shotgun mic is, is it's something that will basically get everything in front of it. So obviously I have this microphone in my hands. It's not catching any of the noise except for where it's pointed at, which is my mouth. Um, and that basically makes it a shotgun mic, you know. And you see those, in, there are a lot of the boom mics. There are a lot of things that you see the cameraman holding up with the boom pool and stuff. Here's what the box looks like for it. So um, what it's called, it's actually a Rode mic. Um, and these ones are called the Video Mic Goes. Um, I got, I, I believe I got this from Shutterbug, but I'll leave a link at Amazon because you can probably get it cheaper on Amazon. I was just in a hurry. Uh, cool thing about this, no batteries are required for these. Um, so you can just plug them into the camera. Uh, it doesn't need any phantom power or anything like that. Super lightweight. Um, and then they got an integrated suspension on them, which basically helps with all the clicking noises and all that. I actually snapped mine off, but I'll, I'll super glue it back on. Uh, it kind of makes it easier when I hold the mic anyways. But that's more if you're mounting it to the camera. It will kind of help with bumping the camera so you don't hear like clicks and stuff. But um, these, these are great mics to kind of start off with. Um, once you get into your more pro type of shot or shoots and stuff, then then you'll probably need to switch over to something a little bit more spendy. Uh, one good example of that is I know my next mic I'm gonna get is the Rode NTG3. That's a really good mic, and I would say that one is what a lot of pros are actually using right now, uh, just because it's it picks up sound so great and. Uh, you can kind of see the difference when I get that NTG. I'll kind of show you guys the difference in quality, so you can understand, you know, why you pay so much more for the better mics. But this mic's great. You can get it for a hundred bucks. Great. You got you got something to work with. Um, you can definitely do some productions with this. Uh, you can definitely make it work. It obviously picks up my voice great now, as you can see. When it gets closer to my voice, my voice resonates more, and it's more powerful. That's one thing that shotgun mics, you know. Um, all have in common, um, but depending on what quality you get, the the stronger ones, the better ones, more expensive ones, will resonate even better. You know, no matter how far away you are, you know they're gonna they're gonna resonate better, and you're gonna get more frequencies. And that's when you see it on the films when they're talking. You know, you can really understand that dialogue, and it's really clear. And the boom mic doesn't have to be like right in your mouth. You know, so. Um, that's what's kind of neat about it, but I'll, I'll definitely get one of those on there. Obviously, you see me getting all this equipment and stuff. Uh, it costs a lot, so um, just kind of slowly easing in um, and slowly getting my all my equipment put together. But uh, for now, guys, this works for me, and I think it would work great for you guys too. Um, if you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description, obviously with Amazon. So uh, just stay tuned with that. Um, I guess that is everything I kind of want to talk about today. Um, I mean, the mic really it just it's it's built to get the direction of your voice. I mean, one other tip I might add before I um, end this video is you want to make sure the placement of your mic. You know, whether you're in a movie scene or you're doing like a video, make sure your placement of your mic, you know, is outside of the shot and you're still being able to capture dialogue. So if you have headphones, you can just plug these into the, you can just plug that into the camera too. Cause uh, these mics just plug right into your DSLR too. So um, make sure it's out of the shot so where you can still hear it and stuff. If you're in a video like this, it doesn't really matter because you know, this is an informational video. So you can obviously have the microphone right on camera just like you would see with the news station or whatever. Um, but if it's a, professional production or if it's anything you know you're just shooting for like a film or something then you definitely want to keep that outside the camera and get the best audio you can you know without catching it in the shot 
But enough of that, guys. I hope you learned a lot today about um, the Rode Go mic. Um, it's, a, it's a very good mic, and it's not too expensive, so I would definitely check it out. Um, just because it's 99 and that was in Shutterbug, so you could probably even get it for like 80, 60 bucks on Amazon or something. But I'll put the link in the description so you know for sure. But thanks for tuning in today, guys. Um, I think my next video is going to show you guys how to do some cool camera settings to get your film look to look right. We'll focus on the cinematic look for our next video. But thanks for tuning in, guys. You guys have a great rest of your day. Appreciate you getting on today. You guys have a good one. Um, so take care, guys.